Pre at Mothram, and I'm the head of centre here, I'm responsible for commissioning the project that resulted in the Highfield Summer School. Once we had the definite go ahead from the local school, it was a case of then getting the information about the numbers of children who were going to attend. And at one stage, the figure of 300 children attending on a daily basis was mentioned. As it turned out, over the four weeks, we had 170 children a day. But in relation to those children and offering them a varied program, we had to ensure we had the correct number of staff who could offer the different kinds of activities in terms of sports, art, as well as being supported by a teacher in English, an English teacher and a maths teacher. As a team, we met on a regular basis and to ensure that um, our session plan was in place, um, the four-week programme was in place and all the resources, materials and equipment were um, in place, ready for the scheme to start. When the scheme started, yes, the activities ran really well. Um, we had a, a range of activities taking place on a daily basis and they all ran very smoothly. So, and what we can do, who knows what this is? This is who knows what this electric is called? Kit. Electric drum kit. Who knows the difference between an electric drum kit and an acoustic drum kit? There were some technical hiccups, for example, the laptops. Uh, that were brought in from the school, we had some difficulty in the early days of getting connected to the school website, but that was resolved, as were some of the other issues um, around having that many children from eight different primary schools all together in the one setting. During the first week, we had a um, um, process whereby all children were offered an opportunity to engage in one of the different activity sessions. So whether that be film, uh, digital arts, music, arts and crafts, catering, sports, etc. And once they had gone through that process, by the end of the week they were asked to express their choice and based on that we were able to allocate them to um, an activity of their first or second choice for those three final three weeks. In 90, 180, 180, 260, 240, 240, 110, 240, 110. The teacher who commissioned this summer school was very keen that the learning the children had experienced in the previous year wasn't lost over the long summer holiday period. So in all of the work we did, we had to have it underpinned by learning of English and maths. Rather than it being a formal English or maths class, it was doing it through fun activities. So for example, in the sports hall, it was utilizing numbers and language in terms of communication. Oh, yeah, 370. 370 again. Yeah. You've learned a lot about doing sports while doing maths and literacy. I've learned my square numbers and, and how to play board games in maths. So far, I thought it was really good. I don't like the Danish rounders, but I like dodgeball. When I was new in uh, uh, the sports, uh, I, uh, I thought I wouldn't uh, be able to beat anybody, but now I'm feeling that I, uh, I, w I can beat them. In terms of the park visit, I mean, it was a very nice time of the year. So it was an opportunity to take the children out into the park. Each um, student was given a task to do whilst they were out there, which encouraged them to continue learning whilst they were out there, but also have fun.
was opened in 1886. Today, the layout of the park is very similar to its original design. You can still see the original park keepers' lot drinking fountain. And um, we walked around the park. And we managed to get quite a lot of. Uh, um, we looked at quite a few monitors and signs and we uh, discovered, we learned about the park. Yes, they filled in the questionnaires and they managed to figure out what, uh, where the animals lived in the park as well as uh, what activities took place in the park, uh, when the park was built yeah. and uh, who it was built for. So no, I think it was a very productive afternoon. Alicia, you went really well. I was quite surprised at some of the, the um, things that they've got on show there. I mean, the vegetable garden was yeah. uh, quite a surprise for me, definitely. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I've lived in Highfields all my life, and yeah. that's a, they've, they've done some really nice um, things on the park now. Children thoroughly enjoyed the uh, celebration event we held at the end of the four-week scheme, as did the parents. Um, and so did both the head teacher and a uh, deputy head teacher from the school um, that had commissioned the work. It was really an opportunity in a very tight period of time. I mean, four weeks is not exactly a very long period in which to engage in a piece of work with children, some of whom we've not had into this building before. To get them to work as a group, and to produce bits of music, bits of digital arts, bits of uh, theatre, etc., was wonderful. And the enjoyment of those children and the parents was very visible to see on that on that day. We we put up a display of some of the work of the children, um, and a number of parents commented very positively about that. <laughs> I just think you've done an absolute wonderful initiative with this summer school. You know, I think it's been fantastic. I know my little girl, I know she's come home in the evening and then she's talking about the English and the maths and everything she's been doing and like and we've incorporated it into dinner time and supper time because we you know we build on it and I've seen all the happy faces when I've come to pick my daughter up and to enrich their little minds, you know, and make them so enthusiastic about every aspect of education. I think it's brilliant. I just think it's so enriching to see the children and how well they've done and how hard they've worked. And I can't thank you enough to the teachers, to the volunteers, and to Gita, the headmistress of Shenton. What well, a wonderful initiative. Absolutely fantastic. And Mike, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. The school has been very pleased. And we're looking to have a meeting where I will attend and make a presentation about some of the um, key achievements over the over the four week summer school and how that can be sustained throughout the year, not just during the summer holiday period. Hello everybody, it's lovely to be here and to see just how much the children have enjoyed themselves and to see all of you who've made the effort to come and see what they've been doing for the past three or four weeks. Um, I don't know if this is true of the other schools, but what we noticed at Shenton is that over 95% of our children go back in their learning over the summer holidays. Those six weeks mean that we spend most of the autumn term reteaching the children they, the, the stuff that they forgot over that six weeks because they've been having so much fun. But I have to say it's proving very successful from what I've seen so far. And when we get the children back to school and I'll be asking the head teachers of Uplands and Medway and uh, Charmwood etc to help, what we want to see is whether all this fun has actually helped the children to remember a lot of what they've learnt and whether this is really contributing to their learning overall. So um, it's great to see how... I'd like to thank um, uh, Geeta Patel, the head teacher at Shenton, for her uh, uh, trust and confidence in, in us being able to deliver this programme. I'd also like to thank um, all of the staff involved in that four-week summer school because it was a 
case of pulling people together who had not necessarily worked as a team, certainly the two teachers we had, the English and Maths teachers, had not previously been employed by us. And it did take a little while for them to gel as a team, but by the end of the four weeks, there's some very good instances of the teachers and the other staff working together to help support and uh, develop the learning that happened over four years. Um, thank you to all the local schools that supported the schemes and thank you to the parents that brought the children in on a daily basis and a big thank you to all the staff um, and volunteers that supported the scheme and hopefully we can um, continue to run this on a regular basis each year.